Leadership. Defined as using combined traits and abilities to guide others in the accomplishment of, sp of specific group goals. Power. The ability to persuade other people to do something, to change how they feel about something. Influence affects the thoughts and the behaviors of others. It is power in motion. A leader can uh, have influence without power, but a leader cannot have power without influence. In organizations, leader, leaders with both power and influence are most effective with employees. They are able to create relationships using positive communication and soft influential tactics such as persuasion, exchange, and good old-fashioned flattery. Using a combination of leadership power sources that have been identified so far as legitimate, expert, reward, coercion, charismatic, also known as referent, informational, persuasive, visibility, credibility, support systems, and agenda setting. Motivation, thought of responses, and empowerment help to create team environment, trust, and potentially happy employees. Leaders can hold varying levels of power depending on personal attributes, the company culture created, and the sources of power communicated to the people. The feedback regarding the performance of or the acceptance of managers and supervisors and such from their subordinates will either be one, they comply and do what is asked of them many times so as not to cause any trouble with their job or two, they resist and refuse to do what is asked or they do it and just do it poorly or three, they share the same attitudes as their leader and so they gladly commit to our request. Sometimes people obtain leadership positions, gain power and influence only to use it all for spreading uh, negativity throughout the company. Negative behaviors, behaviors toward employees or co-workers uh, because of their abilities or due to their feelings of the, due to the offender's feelings of envy or maybe for simply implementing rules that they know can hurt certain groups or mandates that result in the leader receiving hefty monetary bonuses while other participants receive nothing, for instance. Of the of the many uh, powerful leaders in the Bible are reminded of the Egyptian Pharaoh in the book of Exodus who enslaved the Hebrew, pe Hebrew people and ordered that all of their baby boys that were born were to be killed immediately and that uh, baby Jesus was included. Uh, perhaps, perhaps all of this was done out of the fear that the Hebrews would eventually outnumber the Egyptians and soon overthrow his throne not sure it's uh it works the same today in today's world we find that um negative toxic leadership within organizations all over the place research has so far found five uh leadership five categories of toxic leadership egocentrism negative mood unappreciation instability and uncertainty toxic managers are sometimes fearful and jealous they can be narcissistic, incompetent, inexperienced, and they love to have others back them up on their uh, destructive attitudes and actions. Actions like sexual harassment, discrimination, and bullying. Bullying is controlling others to uh, by mistreating them, uh, whether you're in public or you're in private, it doesn't matter. Um, workplace bullying is conduct toward a fellow employee that is humiliating it's intimidating, it's intimidating and uh, or sabotaging. It's ironic that the word bully originally referred to someone who is admirable and jolly, but that was way back in the 1500s. Many times bullies aren't just our coworkers, it's our managers or our supervisors that commit the harm, either uh, bullying their employees or even other managers. Women can find themselves being disrespected by their male leaders and by other female leaders. Sadly, female to female bullying is known to be the most vicious of all bullying. Really, ladies? Also, more damaging behavior occurs when the work hours are late in the day, um, when people work, say, third shift, 
for example, there's a lot of bullying on those late night shifts. If there are no noticeable or known consequences for the bullying, then the culture uh, just tends to become more uptight and more negative and gives the victims the impression, the victims and the bystanders, the impression that everything is just the way it should be. And it's supposed to be that way. The victims of today's workplace uh, bullies suffer in many ways as a result. Employee morale is low. They start to be affected emotionally which can impact their work and their physical wellness. Those who uh, become ill create more medical insurance claims. They acquire excessive hours and missed uh, days from work. And not only does it weigh heavily on the victims, but eventually the organization feels the uh, consequences as well. All those medical claims, coverage for absent uh, employees, and uh, often the cost of replacing those employees who decide to just leave the job altogether. The misuse of power and influence in leadership is devastating. Workplace bullying is an intentional and repetitious act. It's rarely an accident. Leaders will lead, well, people in general, but especially leaders need to start paying attention on how our behaviors, our attitudes, our actions and words impact others around us. Organizations should take responsibility, responsibility to protect their employees and their business by creating new job positions resources and new processes pro processes to screen potential employees in a different manner, but a legal manner <laughs> that may help to decrease or eliminate toxicity. Also, more and more employee engagement may help to assess behaviors or changes in behaviors in the employees. Studies on how to reduce the stress of job tasks and the work hours may help as well. Of course, more research and planning is needed for that. Outstanding leaders use power and influence to establish flourishing and happy work environments with eager partners strive, striving for the company's goals. They know and understand what power sources are best for them and their values. They are observant, responsive, empathetic, straightforward, relatable, easy to communicate with, and genuinely care about what they do and how they do it. Acts 2028 20, says, pay careful attention to yourselves and to all the flock in which the Holy Spirit has made you overseers to care for the church of God, which he obtained with his own blood.